my name is Greg Tiemann. I'm a professor of environmental studies at York University and my research is primarily fo focused on uh, the ecology of polar bears. So many people wonder if polar bears have blubber and in fact they don't. They have a non-specialized uh, form of adipose tissue, superficial adipose tissue just below uh, the layer of their skin and the the role of this fat layer or adipose tissue layer is primarily energy storage. So at times of the year like this, when uh, the primary habitat area is ice free, polar bears are forced to come on shore. And during that time, they rely on their stored fat as a source of energy. Blubber is a specialized form of adipose tissue. The primary difference between blubber and the adipose tissue of polar bears is blubber has a lot of protein. And this protein gives the adipose tissue a tough, fibrous, sort of springy texture. And this is important for seals and whales and it helps them maintain their overall body shape and helps them move efficiently through the water. The other thing that blubber does for seals and whales is act as an important insulator. So fat is a great insulator in the water. Polar bears spend most of their time on top of the sea ice rather than in the water. And so polar bears rely primarily on their fur as an insulator. And fur is a more effective insulator in air um, than it is in, in water, where blubber is the primary insulator. So polar bears rely on their fur as an insulator. And studies have shown that in the subcutaneous fat on polar bears, it's pretty much the same temperature close to the skin as it is closer to the body core. So the answer is no, polar bears don't have blubber on their body, although they do often have blubber for dinner.